Hi everyone, my name is Danielle and I'm a pre-OT student. Some of you may know me from my Instagram account, OT Danielle. Today for this video, I want to define what occupational therapy is. But instead of giving a generalized definition, I thought I can bring in some help. Through my Instagram account, I have been able to connect with the most amazing individuals, like other pre-OT students, students who are already in an OT program, or occupational therapists, and also certified OT assistants. So these are the people who I'm gonna bring in today and who will define occupational therapy through their point of view. Occupational therapy is a unique profession that combines creativity and science to help people of all ages and generations live their lives to their fullest with the highest quality of life. This includes using occupations to help people in their treatment and as the end goal of treatment. Hey guys, my name is Alyssa and I would define occupational therapy as a practice that can be implemented with individuals of all ages, all abilities, and in many different settings, such as inpatient and outpatient centers, schools, and even the workplace. Occupational therapists work with clients in order to improve their functioning and independence through the use of occupation. Occupational therapists aim to increase the quality of life of their clients and we also lighten the load of other healthcare professionals, caregivers, and family members. One thing that sets occupational therapy apart from other practices is that we take a holistic approach. This means that we look at our clients' mind, body, and spirit. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, it's Tori the OT here. Occupational therapy can mean so many different things. To me personally, it means building or rebuilding a person's ability to complete everyday tasks that make them who they are. These tasks make each person happy and successful in life. Occupational therapists spend their lives helping people do the activities that make them feel whole. My name's Jason. My alter ego on Instagram is WTFIsOT. And I think a quick way to define occupational therapy is that we are a profession founded in medical science with an expertise for helping all ages recover from injuries, diseases, and disorders by using their daily activities as part of the therapy, but also as their goals for the therapy. We help you live your best life as independently and safe as possible. P.S. We're about as similar to physical therapists as a horse is to a unicorn. I would define occupational therapy as a way to gain and regain independence through client-centered interventions that are based on meaningful activities, but also as a way to improve self-care, um, for example, by doing sports or getting back into social life and community activities. Occupational therapy helps individuals across the lifespan live up to their full potential and maximum capabilities by helping them to do meaningful activities. If I could define OT, I would say that it is a healthcare field that really supports and enables people in any walk of life, whether they have a disability or an injury or some other roadblock to living life the way that they want to. Um, OT comes alongside that person and really enables them to participate in their life and all the things that make life meaningful, whether that be play, self-care, home management, social participation, anything in between, OT can help. Hola, I'm Mariana and I'm Nicole and we're the Island OTs. Yes, we are OT master students from Puerto Rico. For us, occupational therapy is the only profession that helps people across the lifespan to do the things they want or need to do through the therapeutic use of daily activities. Yes, we assist others in the process of reaching their goals so that they can achieve independence and well-being. OT is awesome and we are so happy to be preparing ourselves in this awesome field. Adios! Bye-bye! So there are many different ways that you can define occupational therapy as a profession. However, I think it is one that helps individuals with varying diagnoses find and participate in meaningful activities in their everyday lives. How I define occupational therapy is how my client defines occupations. How they occupy their time, how they want to occupy their time, how they need to occupy their time, that is the definition. So that's why I actually ask my client, what do they value doing most? How do they spend their time? What's meaningful to them? And what do they find themselves doing in their routine every day? That's how I define occupational therapy. 
I believe that occupational therapy is a career dedicated to helping people be able to do the things that they want and need to do in their everyday life. If I had to define occupational therapy, I would define it as a therapy that looks at the individual as a whole and helps them to become the best version of themselves. Occupational therapy is a collaborative process between the therapist and the client. So the therapist will help either rehabilitate or habilitate the client and help the client get to a point where they can function as independently as possible doing the occupations that they need to do on a daily basis or that are meaningful to them. I feel like my definition of occupational therapy changes from when I started OT school and every single year since then, it really just evolves and evolves and evolves. Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm the creator of OT Genius and I define occupational therapy as a profession where creativity thrives and we help people engage in meaningful occupation, meaning we help them do the things that they want to do and need to do on an everyday basis despite any physical or mental disability. And by setting goals for our patients and clients, we help them see that what's impossible is actually possible and that's why I love occupational therapy. Hi guys, it's Paige from Duly Noted OT here. Occupational therapy to me is inspiring and empowering others to live their best and most functional lives. So what does that even really mean? Um, as OTs, we help get people back to doing the things they want or need to do. So back to their daily routines or you know doing the little things every day. Um, the great thing about that is that it looks different for everybody. OT isn't going to look the same from person to person, which is the beauty in OT. If you ask me, it's my favorite part. So for example, OT can help a mom of four that just had a stroke get back to taking care of her kids. It can help that big time CEO that was just in a car accident get back to working on his computer or managing his employees. It's so diverse and it's so inspiring. Occupational therapists can work just about anywhere and with any population. Hi guys, uh, so if I had to define occupational therapy, I think that it has absolutely everything to do with committing to a life of service. Um, I really do believe that every person in this world deserves to live an independent life and to do the things that make them happy. It's, it's really important. So I think occupational therapists really play a special role in helping people to achieve those goals by um, making sure that they have use of their um, hands and their upper extremities. Um, so yeah, I think it all has to do with that. It's very much rooted in service and um, making sure that people can feel like they have a sense of purpose in life and participate in their societies. So that's it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Yanni and I'm an entering grad student from New York. My definition of OT would be it is a form of client-centered therapy where a practitioner will rehabilitate you using activities you would regularly do daily. That's why you can see OTs working on fine motor skills with children through encouraging them to draw with a crayon or working on strengthening cognitive skills with someone older by working with them to form a schedule. What is occupational therapy? Occupational therapy is a holistic profession that focuses on the health and well-being of individuals and communities. Occupational therapy comes from the root word occupation, which means anything that takes up time. Therefore, occupational therapy focuses on what's most meaningful to the individual after they have undergone some kind of injury, illness, or something is preventing them to performing to their full capabilities in their daily lives. Occupational therapists are part of the rehabilitation team such as physical therapy and speech therapy and are scientific problem solvers to figure out how to best help the individual and suit their needs in every area of life. What's up guys? My name is Julio Martinez and this is my girlfriend, Anissa Reno. And we are currently occupational therapy students. So what OT means to us is pretty much bringing meaning to someone's life. Bringing a smile to their face and most importantly helping them gain independence in their life. Yeah, so true success to us is really knowing how many people are doing better off in their lives because of our existence and the positive impact that we've made in their lives as well. So remember, we don't treat the diagnoses, but we treat the person itself.
Thank you guys. Thank you. Have a good Bye. one. Bye. Thank you so, so much for tuning into this video today. And I hope now that you have seen all these different points of views of what occupational therapy is, you can come up with your own understanding of what OT is and to see if this is a field that you would like to go into.